I'm Corey Sanders, and welcome to the third episode of Dinner by Eight. That dapper fellow is Cash Thomas. He flew all the way down here from Seattle, Washington to be on the show. Cash, I really appreciate you being here today. Thank you. Also with us, of course, is Chef Brent Makey to make sure things go just right, okay? So, Cash, do you have any questions before we get going? You know, I'm just really interested in how we win this and what I got to do to just win this whole challenge and, and be the best. Well, first off, you're going to be judged by our audience. Mm -hmm. So that first and foremost, obviously, we're going to have some input on what that's going to be. I'm here to be able to help you in any way that I can help you. Here it is, the menu. Dinner by eight. <laughs> Cash, all yours. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Serious? <laughs> Why don't you let the audience know what I'm asking you to make? All right, dinner at eight, February 20th, 2020. Yankee pot roast, mac and cheese, chicken pot pie, Wardorf salad, apple pie, and vanilla ice cream. You think you can do it? I'm going to do this. I'm going to blow it out the circle. I know, I know you're going to do it. I'm going to blow I, it that's out. That's exactly what I thought you were going to say. I I'm love blow it out. Love that. Love that confidence. Well, at least you got me the Villanella ice cream, bro. I can appreciate this. This is the easiest part of the whole thing. Oh, no, Cash, that's just a prop, bro. You got to make the vanilla ice cream. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, okay. Okay, we're back. Cash, that was quick. You took, like, what, eight minutes? A little bit longer. Tell yeah. us what you're going to do. What's up? Well, I mean, my game plan, because i got to have a game plan just like football. Yeah. So my game plan is to uh, get my meat diced up and get it ready and get it chopped into chops. into the Excuse me, chopped into the right cuts for the pot pie and the Yankee pot roast. Then I want to get my potatoes and, and, and mix my onions and get that flavor going and get that ready to put into the pot roast so it can sit there and cook on this oven and get the flavors and everything coming out. Then I'm going to jump on that apple pie and try to make that crust. Uh, I might even knock off the world or salad first because I can throw that in the refrigerator and do the rest of that last. So that's what I'm thinking, the tougher parts first and then go with the easy stuff at the end. All right, that actually sounds like a good plan. So they called me cash money for one reason. I'm about the money, I'm gonna make it happen. You know what I'm saying? Give me a little test. Show them what Seattle's all about. It's hometown Spokane. Go to work. <laughs> I love you, baby, but you gave me something to do, man. I'm like, I gotta go to work, player. Right. Put a little bit more chicken broth in here. Get the chicken just right. Now that I'm conscious about my weight, you know what I'm saying? I wanna be right there on the, cut off a lot of that fat. Is that fat right there? You don't need that. Cash, what all you got in your chicken there? What I got is just some chicken, some onions, I cut it up a little bit for the pot pie okay. and for my uh, for my uh, uh, my Yankee pot roast. So I'm gonna okay. mix it with the beef and the chicken. All you know right. what I'm saying? So I'm gonna do I'm gonna do both kinds. Put All a right. little fresh garlic in it, give it a little bit more taste. I ain't gonna lie to you. I really don't know what I'm doing, but I'm having fun. <laughs> so you know, my dad was from Sweetport, Louisiana, right? He had a restaurant for 60 years. No kidding. So, yeah. What so kind of restaurant? He had cooked barbecue. He he did whatever, you know. In the in the in the military, you know, they called him Soldier Boy, you know, because he did cook all the the food for the higher <laughs> officers and stuff like that, you know. So he was basically he was basically a cook, you know. And I had to, you know. I had the duty of watching him do most of his stuff most of the time. I had a lot of older women in my life. You know, my dad was older, my mom was older. And, uh, you know, uh, I used to watch him in the, cook, in the kitchen because my dad had a restaurant. So my mom would cook certain things, my dad would cook certain things, and they'd bring it together to be a meal in the restaurant. All right. So, you know, my dad said, okay, you got to cook this part. I'm going to barbecue the ribs. I'm going to do this. So the collard greens, the okra, um, you know, the corn on the cob and all that stuff, you're going to bring it and it's going to come in here and then we're going to serve it all together. So like the lady that I became, you know, her surrogate son, you know, her son got killed and, you know, she loves to cook and that's what I'm going to call my lifeline. And, uh, you know, I just sit and talk to her, you know, and, and, and she's always talking to me and telling me what she's making, what she wants to cook. So when I cook, I try to think of, 
the same thing. What would she think about? What would she do? How would she do it? So that's what I'm trying to do right now. All right, what else you got? So this is gonna be for your pot pie? This is gonna be for the pot pie. Okay, what other vegetables you got going in there? Uh, I'm gonna put the carrot, I'm gonna put some celery, some cucumbers, I'm gonna okay. mix it up. I'm gonna put some, uh, I see you got me some uh, mushrooms. I never did mushrooms in a, in a pot pie, but you know, I'll probably try it for a little, little taste and see how that works out. Yeah, I have to admit, I like shiitake mushrooms. They really almost have a little bit of a smoky, meaty flavor okay. to them. I think they really do, they can add a lot of flavor inside especially inside that gravy. Okay. You're gonna really notice it when you bite into it. It's such a distinct flavor, those shiitakes. Corey, I'm ready to call my lifeline. It's that time. Rules of the show state that every cook can call a family member, a friend, or a professional cook or a chef that they've lined up in advance, and you've chosen to call my stepmom. Her name is Gloria Jean, and she's probably the best cook I know. Fantastic, and why are you calling her? I'm calling her because of the ice cream. You gave me ice cream to make, hands make, or mm -hmm. make for my own, and I've never done it before, so I need to call a professional. Well, like I keep telling you, I didn't give you anything. It's Chef Brent, your buddy. Yes. Is this okay? So yes. you, Chef, would you sorry. come on in here? Yes. <laughs> sorry, Cash. Yes. I, had to, I had to try to give you a challenge here. You got your lifeline. We're good. I'm yeah. really looking forward to being here for Gloria Jean, though. Okay. Let's call her. Call her. Okay. Call her. Right. Let's sounds, call her. Sounds like an amazing lady. Hey, Mama, how you doing? Fine. How are you? I'm good. So... They got me doing fresh ice cream from scratch, so I need a little bit of help. I've never done it before. So if you can tell me what I need to do to get this going, it'd be great. What do I need? I got some ingredients okay, already. you need um, some milk. Okay, I got cream. the milk. Milk and cream, okay. Okay, you got some cream? Yes. Okay, two eggs. Two eggs. Egg yolk. Egg yolk. Uh-huh. A half a cup of sugar. Half a cup of sugar. I got the eggs over here. Half a cup of sugar. I got it. Yeah. Whatever. Okay. A tablespoon of cornstarch and a pinch of salt. You know, you gotta and have a pinch of salt. salt. Okay. Vanilla flavor. Vanilla flavor, got that. Okay, you put that all in there and you mix it up. Make sure it's mixed up real In a bowl? Good. Okay, cool. And you're gonna cook that for about 15 to 20 minutes okay. until the thickness on the spoon. Okay. And you're gonna take that off and you're gonna put it in the ice cream maker and then you're gonna make ice cream. Okay. Well, I'll call you back if I need any assistance. I got that part and I'm going to work. So, you heard what she said about making that custard. Yes. Once we get that custard done, get it chilled, and then we're going to get that into the freezer bowl for our Cuisinart uh, ice cream maker. Okay. And just let it churn away the way that ice cream does. That's okay. it. Let's try this. Hey, that's working out. Exactly. And it smells like vanilla. And that, see, well, that heat definitely activates that vanilla. Yeah, smells good. I know. Yeah, I got that chicken. It's almost done. I just got to turn him one more time. He looks good right there. You see that, Chef? I'm smelling him. <laughs> I just I'm need my, oh, look at that. I need my fork. That's smelling delicious. Wow, I made ice cream. Look at that. <laughs> wow, not yet, though. Oh, it's hot. Woo. The Waldorf salad is mostly prepared. You got your meats ready to go. Yeah, I mean, so now what do you got left to do? Uh, I, now I got to do the pie crust. Okay. I got to mix this in. I got to mix the, the, the chicken into the potatoes to get that roux going and get it everything going. Okay. And then I got to get him in the oven for that uh, pot pie and, and I got to get the crust. That's what I got to do. All right. Sounds good. Crust. Sounds like a plan. Okay. You're looking clean. How's that chicken? Should be taste. You got to taste a piece of. Yeah, I'm gonna. Yeah, I'm gonna dig in there. Dip it in that sauce. Hmm. I know. A little blunt right now, ain't it? I think I need a little mm. bit more pepper. Yeah, but man, that juice. Mm. I mean, seriously, that. Uh, you like that? That chicken release, you know, all that flavor in that juice. I mean, that's gonna make. Look at my dog. He right here. <laughs> <laughs> that can make the difference, though, with that uh, that chicken pot pie. Yeah. It we're is. Gonna, we're going to use all that. When I get the chicken in this chicken pot pie, then I'm going to go to this uh, the mac and cheese, and then I'm going to go to this uh, pot roast. Because okay. i got to throw them in here with the potatoes. Okay. You understand what I'm saying? Gotcha. Nice. So talk what? to me about the mac and cheese, but all you got going inside here. So what we got is we got some cheddar going in, melting down a little bit of butter, okay. one-fourth butter, some milk. I added a little... Secret ingredient. I'm not going to talk about that yet. See if you can pick ah, it out. Okay. 
So what I got over here, it's in the pot. Okay. What's it called? So is that your Yankee Pot Rose? Pot Rose. All right. <laughs> I'm going to say your timing right now is looking really good. Okay, it's 4 o'clock. Okay. It's not even 4 o'clock. You got about uh, 10 to 4. Okay, 4 o'clock. I want to start making my crust. There we go, sir. Will you, right, you put so that in the oven for me? So we got, I'd be happy to put that in the oven for What's you. What's your question? How long you want it in there for? Now, we need to work on that salad. We got to work on our bread crust. That's what we got to do. We okay. got to work on pie crust. Yes, sir. All right. Pie now, crust. You know, so we need to start. Three cups in there. Three cups. Three cups in here. Okay, chef, this is what I'm okay. going to do. I got it from here. You did the first one. I'm going to do this one. Okay. So I'm going to cut my butter up. I'm going to put them in the cubes. But I and see remember, some. The short crust pastry, it's one. Keep everything cold. Number Keep two. Keep everything cold. Keep everything cold. Number two, don't overwork it. Okay. <laughs> well, y'all didn't think about that when you created this meal. Because I'm overworked. <laughs> Believe me. You would never think that chopping butter up like this would make it smoother, though. But I can, I can, I can understand it after the, the first one. Though. Well, you can see how that needs to be incorporated in there. By the yeah. time you're done with that, uh, with that Cuisinart, it just turns it into such just small little pieces, but they're uniformly all the way through. Yeah. And so when that bakes, it's going to give those nice little flaky, tender crust pieces. Beautiful. Okay. We need seven teaspoons of tablespoons. water. Tablespoons. Tablespoons of water. Seven tablespoons of water. Did you get your salt in there? I am when I put this in. I need my salt first. You should do your salt. Just pulse that up. Okay. Yeah. So put in your teaspoon of salt. Yeah. Yeah. So just get that pulsed up. Okay. Stop. Okay. There we go. Now we need seven teaspoons of water. Tablespoons. Tablespoons. One. Pulsate. One, two. And you're going to see it start to pull away from the sides. And there you go. That's it. You just start pu pulling it together like into a disc. Yeah. Turning? Yeah, just keep giving it a turn. Turn the pan? No, you actually turn your dough. Oh, the dough. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go ahead and put that on right there. Okay. Oh, let's check your, um, I'm smelling it. Oh, oh no. Oh. Too much. Oh, I don't know. Uh, we're okay. We're okay. We're okay. That's good. It gives it a little flavor. Yeah, it gives it some flavor. No, that's, that's fine. Right. I don't mind. That little bit of, that little bit of brulee on the top is going to be just fine. Okay. Well, Not I want to take that away from my, my meat though. I mean, I got to tell you, Chef, you know, when I first looked at the card and you guys opened it up, you know, I, I had a lot of doubts about my cooking skills because I haven't really cooked anything this hard, you know. And, you know, scared, yes, a little bit, but I think I could do it, you know, and, and you helping me out helped me get over the hurdle. And I mean, I'm still not there yet, but I'm still waiting to see how it comes together. So I do okay. appreciate you. Hey, anything I can do to be able to help you get through to the end mm -hmm. and make your food look as beautiful as you want it to look? I'm absolutely here for you, but I mean, it's been a pleasure. What do we still have to get done? Okay, we got the pot roast. It's gone. Okay. It's in the pot. Pot roast is doing it? I got the mac and cheese. It's ready. Done. The chicken pot pie, the ingredients are right there. We got the crust in the refrigerator. We got that done. Okay. The ward off salad, I got it halfway there. We just got to add the apples. We got to add some cucumbers. And then we got to make the salad dressing for that. Okay. And then the apple pie, we got to cut the apples and get that going. And then last, that ice cream. We gotta see how that's working out. <laughs> that's, you know, you're gonna be fine. You've got a good custard that you've already made, and all you have to do is freeze it. Okay. All right, so you are gonna be, and what are you gonna be doing to thicken up your pot pie? Uh, I'm gonna drain a little bit of it. Okay. I'm gonna drain a little bit of it. And I mean, I wanna add something to it, but what do I add? You know, that's also another roux that we'd try to be able to add to that as well to try to thicken it up. But now here's the problem. If you make a roux, either you're going to have to make your roux right now and you add cold roux into a hot stock mm. or you add cold stock into a hot roux. But the thing is, if you add hot stock and hot roux, you end up with lumps. Mm. We don't want that. You don't want to have that. So you have to figure out how you want to be able to thicken it. I would personally say... Make a roux now, get it cold, 
and then you can add it in just as much as you need to get it as thick as you want it to be. Okay. Okay? Okay. So butter, and then start hitting it up with the flour. You want to melt it? Melt it. Melt it in a saucepan? Melt it in the saucepan. Because then what we can do after this, once you finish that, we'll just put it onto a sheet pan. Yeah. And we'll just let it cool. Okay. And once that's cooled, then you can add it into your items here to be able to get it to... You said two cups, didn't you? Yep. Getting better, boss. See, now that is like, you know, a perfect roux. So, um, yeah, we can go ahead and put that out onto a sheet pan now. That's good to go. Okay, Chef. We're going to get this. Now we got to get that cold. Well, let's go ahead. Let's get out. Let's get out that roux that you made That's earlier. Right. It's getting pretty thick. Oh yeah, no, it's it's cold. That's exactly what we're looking for. So you want to have your cold roux mm -hmm. and add that in. Just a little bit, right? To your hot. Just add in a bit by bit by bit. I ain't never cooked a homemade pot pie. You know that? Want more? Yeah, you can still see it. It needs, yep, needs some more. You can see what? What are you looking for? I mean, you're looking for that to be, it's got to be quite thick. Okay, now stop. Let's mix that in. I see what you're saying about the cold roux on the cold roux on the hot roux getting into the hot You know the chicken pot pie. It's actually starting to thicken up a little bit. I can feel it All right Looking good Looking good looking good now. How about your um, Your Yankee pot roast mm -hmm. see how that beef is doing Not too far off. Try it out. Mmm. How do it taste? It's tasty beef. Mm-hmm. I'm telling you, Chef. <laughs> <laughs> You've never made a pie before? No, sir, I have not. No worries. We ever said it's easy as pie? I think they, they lied. lied. <laughs> I think they lied. <laughs> they lied. Yeah, this big special is just, just easy. It's like that. There you go. Boom. There we go. Nicely done. Now you're going to fill those, not all the way up to the top. Let's go ahead and start putting in, start putting some in. So take another one, probably the easiest way. Now this one you probably can just do that. Just press it down like a cookie cutter. Mm -hmm. Put it on top. And then, and then fold on. those edges over. And like try to crimp them together, the top to the bottom. It's 5.45, chef. Put them in. 5.45, okay. Put them in. Get them in, don't let them touch one another. You gotta yes, give sir. them some room to. Okay, expand. Yeah, you gotta give them some room to get a heat kind of right circulating around them. So now, why don't we make some ice cream? Let's go. Okay. So this, please and art, we put that on there, and this is the part that spins. That, dump it in. So there's our custard. Goes into our freezer bowl. And that just spins. And that's it. So watch this. So you roll that over the pin, and that's how you can transfer over to your plate. Get out of here. Okay. Beautiful. And so we're just gonna do this because we gotta make gotta make our apple filling first. We wanna keep that nice and cold. Okay. Slicing up our apples, fingers in, down one side, down the other. All four. Keep that apple. Whoop. Now you can go ahead and slice the rest of those up. Well I'll try it. All right, go for Let's it. See what I can do. You've been killing it so far, man. I've got no doubt. You're in the home stretch. We're gonna use those here shortly. It's all good. It's all good. Pot pies are doing those things. Their tops are. There's one. There's a half. There's one cup. Not over here. How many cups of sugar? One Pure cane. Brown, one cup of white.
There we go. Just a little bit of acidity in there. That's all we pretty much need. Okay. Now you also want to be able to give it some seasoning. So really these are kind of apple pie spices between ginger, nutmeg, clove, and cinnamon. Make it as seasoned as you want or as unseasoned as you want. Nutmeg, now I know. That, we only need a little bit of this. There we go. Just a little bit. It's going to go a long way. Yep. Now we have to do the top. Mm. At the bottom, at the very least, I want you to start filling this in until it's like mounded. How's that, Jeff? One more? More. Just a little bit more. I know you've never done this before. No, I'm watching them. I'm gonna stand and watch okay. this. So I want my pie to look good. Are you gonna close them though? And then we're gonna then we're gonna crimp. So do I knock off the excess or no? No, you just go ahead. You want to keep that on there? We're making what's now. It's just an egg wash. We're gonna brush this over the top. It's gonna to make it get it a nice golden pop. Brown. Do I need milk? Nope. Okay, there's a brush. Brush it up all the way around. All the way around? Yep. All over. All over? Like that? Yep. Even the crust? Yep, all the crust. All the way around. Now we bake it. All right. Bottom or top? Let's go ahead and just put it right there next to those other pies. Right there in that middle. Get that? Oh, yeah. I would say very, so nice, just rustic, rustic pot. That's... Guys, the neighbors are here. Wow. Okay. Hi, thank how you. you. Hey, how you doing, Dan. Dan? How come on in, Dan? Maverick, stop it. That's my hey, dog. Hey, hey, Rob, welcome. Uh, thank you. Oh, boy. Okay. Um, Enjoy. Pardon, thank pardon you. my reach. And I can tell you, I've never done so, this before. So Walter, just so you, I'm a car sales guy. Yeah. Straight up. This is great. Ex-football player. Very cool. Good. Glass of wine. You know, tonight's meal is really all about American comfort classics. So, Waldorf salad, traditional salad. This was invented at the Waldorf Story at about 1896. Apples, walnuts, grapes, a little bit of uh, some greens, celery, and uh, that's tossed with uh, just a very light yogurt-based vinaigrette. There we are. So, Chicken pot pie with a butter short crust pastry. Great. Bon appetit. Thank you. <laughs> wow, Cash. Well, very good. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Did you really fly in from Seattle? Yes, ma'am, I did. Okay. Uh, I live in Seattle right now, and uh, I own a car dealership. And me and Corey went to high school together, oh, so okay. he's That's my Facebook connection. friend, and I have a lot of those. So huh? I cook all the time, barbecue and stuff like that. And oh. he was like, "I gotta get you down there. I gotta get yes, you down there." And yes. then That's I'm thinking I'm gonna cook baby back ribs and <laughs> you know some other stuff. And then the chef comes and says, "Bow, you're gonna eat this and <laughs> make homemade ice cream." I was like, "Man, you know, I'm getting ready to run up out of here." You know, be like, you know, yeah. but. Uh, I had to represent, so with Chef's help, I mean, yeah. you guys are tasting it, so I hope yeah. you guys enjoy it's it. Excellent. Uh, for the next course, I mean, this is truly an American classic, homemade mac and cheese. Mm. You're gonna mix that up in there. Yeah, cheese in there? Yeah, maybe. Huh? Try it one time. Try it one time. All right. No, give that opportunity. Right. Keep enjoying. So while you still have that mac and cheese on your plate, I'm going to give you something to go along with this. So All right, let's do it. I mean, this is a New England pot roast, or Yankee pot roast. Excellent. Okay. I, I love this guy. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Huh? Is that it? Not bad for a car guy, huge car guy? Yeah. You did very good. Really, really good. Oh, yes. Right. A little bit more ice cream there, Chef. Right. A little bit more? Yep. Holy moly. Okay. Now, just as it happens to be, the name of our show is called Dinner by Eight. Mm -hmm. 
and it is exactly eight o'clock. Excellent. It wasn't just dinner by it, it was dinner and dessert and all done by eight o'clock. Right, so absolutely. I think that's one thing. Really, Cash, you crush it, man. So you got it out of the park, dinner by eight. Well done. Well, that was incredible. Chef, tell us about the food. Cash, you did a great job. You showed up, I thought you'd rock it. You did, you rocked it. You know, from the beginning to the end, you finished up almost like an hour and a half ahead of time. So it was like boom, 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 boom. Everything was in its place. Waldorf salad, right on the money, exactly what it needed to be. Moving on to that pot pie, that crust, light, flaky, that filling was delicious. And I thought at one point, you were just overcooking the hell out of that filling. But I mean, that meat just fell apart and it was just really, really delightful. So I think everybody there, I think that might've been one of their favorite things of the night. You know, after that, the mac and cheese, if I had to make one criticism, it was probably the mac and cheese. Thought that pasta was overdone. It sat too long, it tightened up. And so it just wasn't one of my favorite dishes, but after that, you redeemed yourself with that Yankee pot roast. So unusual, again, putting the chicken and the apples into that. It brought in a unique sweetness. It brought a lot of depth of flavor. It brought in a new texture. Really enjoyed that. And then after that, apple pie. It's like apple, spice. You made your own ice cream. Beautiful. Yeah. Seriously, well, well done. Thank you. Appreciate it. Thank you. Nominate somebody at juniorbuy8.com if you think they're up to the task. This guy just set the bar pretty high. Junior by 8. We like your food, we like your style, we show up at your house. We've got a little request of you, we hope you'll hear us out. You take from us, so use your own and cook us what we ask. It might not be a specialty, but we know you're up to the task. It's dinner by eight. Fucking, I'll make y'all look good. Yeah. Fucking, you grab this. Cash, you're the business, man. I look told at that. you. You do. I look told at the business. You. Putting in a crowd.